and this will be good for me as well. If both the Kodo wins, then I get to see an example of what I should be doing. It's good. Oh yeah, whoops. Um, I usually turn off my camera and stuff during these. Put more focus on the game itself. Oh yeah, I can check one last time. Will booster load? Or is it still just saying trying to connect to server? It looks like it's not loading, trying to connect to server. So we will not have booster for the first game, but we can try again for the second game, I guess, and hopefully it will be back up. I don't know what's wrong with booster today, but that's it was doing that earlier as well. It did finally start working earlier, but not working right now. Anyways, top right, we have the legendary Bolt Dakota, Razor Moon, whatever other names he goes by. The man who I just faced, and he is going to go elf this time, doing a standard build with Kipo, as I would expect. And on the other side, Mr. Wiener, going for that Archmage. And I assume he will do something like three footmen, two farm tech into rifle, mountain king, double damage upgrades. Because that's what I've expected from him in the past. Oh no. Bring Pokey back? You want the camera on? I don't know, dude. A player's force is is it worth attack. Sometimes it's just a distraction to see, like, the caster rather than the game. Also, it's spiking for me. So hopefully it's not... Hopefully I don't lag their game or something, because that would suck. Um, but yeah, it is standard or standard. Looks like a decent enough lightning shield. Uh, maybe could have damaged them a little more before pulling the archer away, but otherwise, decent enough. Goes just directly uh, to direct creep this rather than uh, pulling it to the Ancient of War. Might be faster, but it does damage the treants, so they will not be able to tank as much for his next camp, which can be a problem. Because sometimes Elf wants to either be able to tank here or let the Archer and Treant solo creep this and bring the Keeper across. But we'll see what Mr. Winner does. And he actually three farms, no tech. Is this really Mr. Winner? Where's the rifles, bro? What? Okay. Might see a detonate here. Just, okay, now he can do it. Gets the XP. And that's actually huge for the elf because that puts them really close to level three, if not level three. Just short, I believe, right? Yeah. But that is within range where you can get one footman kill, entangle archer focus, and then get level three off of that. So it'll be very crucial for Mr. Winner to deny this. But, oh, he actually got it with the elemental huge huge by our human player to deny that XP and now Bolt Dakota once again going to get denied on that footman no XP here and a keeper is still level 2.9 um, he can still easily creep the murlocs at some point which would be huge but other, okay finally gets level 3 now this keeper a lot more effective has really good items as well but so does the Archmage. Oh my, what is this, dude? What a fucking cannon. The Archmage shooting a goddamn cannon out, dude. Double claws? Come on, bro. Okay. You see Hunter's Hall on the way. Fourth Moonwell wants to make sure he has as much healing as possible during the night. And I like doing that as well. When I can. Uh, Boots of Speed picked up. Might actually be the better choice when the human's not going expo to just get boots of speed rather than staff of telly. Uh, is going to get one archer caught here and reveal. Nicely done by Mr. Winner to take that out. Getting quite a few items here. Keeper coming in will be able to get both footmen here. This one's already dead. Does not actually need to hit it twice like he did, but he did anyways. 
Uh, looks like he's opting to not take more damage on his keeper. Might even be better than actually just killing the footman outright right now. And we do have rifles on the way. Is there going to be an early damage upgrade? Keeper coming in to harass some peasants. And this is actually big. Mr. Winner, because of all the militia creeping... Oh, ooh, this is also big. Some treants maybe. But all the militia creeping has made his wood count really low. He can't even afford second hero plus sanctum right now. Uh, Razor Moon, Bolt Dakota. Finally going for the treants. Will be able to secure that rifle kill, but is going to lose his TP and his mana here. A little costly, but will get one more peasant in return. Archers getting ready to creep the top. Going for DH second, probably the wise choice. Still in a pretty good position, I think, for the elf side. However, oh, he's not even going to lose the TP. Mr. Winner lets him out. Oh no, could just started building a farm there or something. But Mr. Winner in the meantime, doing one of the things he does best, level four Archmage already. Sells the item, I think it was uh, Lightning Shield, right? And it now has his rifles out. But as you can see, his wood is low. He just had Militia call for a long duration. Putting six on gold for a second. Maybe just swapping the health, healthy ones out. And Bolt Dakota going for the split creeping on DH. Tier 3 on the way, one lore finished. So standard timings here overall. Uh, should get a wisp at the lab probably. But otherwise, be good. Uh, greater mana potion. Uh, I think that's actually pretty good. Because uh, in this situation, Mr. Winner's Sanctum is super light. He's not going to have much to spell. And with this keeper... Okay, I guess I guess he's not actually close to level 4. But still, being level 3 keeper, getting those entangles out can be pretty huge here. And if he can spot... Oh, he spotted the rifle here. Nicely done. We'll get another pick off. These damage items also help him a lot at making sure this gets finished off quickly. And then he can uh, continue to search for Mr. Winner. Going to get creep jacked here. But... Wisely backs off with his DH, not wanting to take the fight yet. Keeper does not have a Staff of Tele. He did opt for Boots instead. So he might have to TP back if he wants to defend against this. But I don't think Mr. Winner is actually going to go in here. It'll likely just be him stealing the creeps like he did. And then continuing to try to get his MK to level 3 as soon as possible. Did he just sell Wand of Illusion? What? Is that worth? It doesn't even sell for that much, and the value is huge, right? I would have kept it. I would have made three Illusion MKs for the push and been like, yo bro, come at me. I got three MKs blocking you. And then he'd be like, who do I burn? Who do I burn? And then, you know, I don't know. That's what I would have done. Or maybe even rifles wouldn't be that bad. To illusion, of course. But he does sell it, I guess. And Bolt Dakota looking to get his DH3. Mr. Winner, the same for his MK. Has really good MK items. A little bit of armor from the slippers. Some health. Sobe mass, greater heal. Uh, the only thing that would be better is probably um, mana potion rather than greater heal. But Keeper going to take some damage here. However, Bolt Dakota done a very nice job at limiting this rifle count. Has one more entangle here. However, the priest heal will probably be enough to save this one. More damage coming on the keeper. And these boots paying off. I think this is the right call and something I have not really done is picking up boots instead of Staff of Tally on the keeper. Might lose a TP here, does lose the TP. However, not terrible. DH has got three in the meantime. Mountain King is out of mana, although he regains mana extremely quickly. That rifle did live, by the way, but still needs time to heal from the priest. And now DH going in for the burn. We'll be able to get it before the next bolt. And MK is just, just a large footman right now. Thousand health footman, by the way. And these bears, there's already four of them. Bolt Dakota doing a very good job this game at just 
pushing his advantage the entire time, picking off rifles when he can, and Mr. Winter just does not have enough unit count to ever fight this. Losing- oh my god! After the level up, instant mana burn, 80, minus 87, no more bolts on this MK. Bash coming out, might secure one kill, no staff available. There is Orb of Venom though, and Mr. Winner lost a lot. And this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be his timing. This is when Mr. Winner wants to attack. He's got level three MK. He's got level four Archmage. He's got a damage upgrade, but he, he has no army anymore. He's just lost it. And now he will not be able to push properly and caught out here. Does have a greater heal, will be able to save the Archmage, but might get his MK surrounded in the meantime. Rifles starting to fall. There's just so many bears, so many rejuvenations here. Human probably not going to be able to keep up. Might take out one bear or one rifle, but in the end, these priests, low mana, getting focused down quickly. One bear may go down. Might need to invest the bolt in five mana. Oh, Dryad's low. Dryad block! Bolt! Okay. <laughs> Bolt the bear. Bear is down. Uh, but now the MK. You're stranded, bro. What are you doing here? This is not your base. Oh no. The large footman is down. Mr. Winner calls the GG. And Bolt the Kodo showing me exactly what I should be doing. Apparently. Just, just play good, Kappa. There were some good things from um, our human player. Those denies were huge, very nicely done. But eventually the keeper did get three in good timing and was able to prevent a human push. And I think that's the key thing. You want to prevent the Archmage from being able to go into your base with five footmen or so and just killing wisps because that's what sets you behind. That's where you lose your wood economy, your tech, and allows the human to just overpower you overpower you with power leveling rifles and then pushing with 2-0 rifles. So very good by Bolt Dakota to prevent that by getting level 3 keeper right away. Yeah. At the bottom left, our red knight off Bolt Dakota once again going for likely the keeper build. Wouldn't or actually on this map, I believe the popular pick is actually Warden. And this camp you know, good for both Warden and Keeper, but we'll see if he does indeed go Warden or not. Mr. Winner doing the classic human thing, which is, you know, the same build every single game, because that's what human does. Archmage, Footy Mans, nothing new here. And it is going to be Keeper, so no Warden play. I do believe Warden is the popular pick on this map though. But Bolt the Kodo playing how I would play it, which is Keeper as well. Me doing Keeper because I'm bad and can't control a Warden. Him doing Keeper, I don't know. This maybe he likes it more. <laughs> a player's force is but uh, here we go. Second Moonwell on the way. Wait, I think it's in right, the right timing. But yeah. Uh, not actually pulling this with the archer. Usually you want to move the archer forward a bit to get the ensnare to go off. That way your treants do not get ensnared and this creep moves forward. So it'll be closer. But yeah, a little screw up there. Does get the treant ensnared out of range of attacking. But not a huge deal, I guess. Take some damage on the archer though. A little switch of aggro there. And what do we get? Potion of Invuln. One of the uh, bad items for now, it'll be good later, but for right now, it just doesn't do anything. To get an advantage early, you generally want mana items or potentially greater heal. But later on, when he maybe mixes in a DH and is going after the Mountain King to burn it, having an invuln can be pretty good in that situation. Scroll of the Beast for our human player. Also not too great, but can be great depending on what exactly he goes for. 
if we see some sort of tier 2 rifle push and the wisps aren't quick enough to detonate, that roar scroll of course can be very powerful. That both sides just continuing to creep, looking to get that level 3 keeper as soon as possible. Wand of Lightning Shield, also not bad. And Bolt Dakota, looking to march across here, has not actually sent many wisps out. And I'm not sure if he got one killed, or if he just doesn't send many out. But uh, going for Staff of Telly this time, no boots. I actually really liked his boots last game, but this time Staff of Telly is the choice. He's going to try to get a footman, but he actually needs multiple kills in order to get level 3. We'll be trying to creep this, however, with only one Treant that's going to get purged. It will be difficult to do so. Looks like he's going to try to get Peasant here. Actually going for Treants as well, so very expensive mineral. Oh yeah, I forgot, he had the Lightning Shield. So that's what his play was. Try to get a couple kills of Lightning Shield. Nice play. Um, so far, only one kill though. Does manage to get out. Did have Steph of Telly anyways though. But, I mean that is kind of expensive. 100 mana for Treants and all he gets is one Peasant. That's not the greatest. Hunter's Hall is also late. So not as smooth of a game this time from Bolt Dakota. Didn't get a Water Ellie detonated either. Which would have, at least I don't think he did. Maybe he got one. But that would have also helped getting level 3 quicker to do so. Rifle attack. being kept in the back, but Keeper only just now reaching level 3. He is split creeping. Just wanted to get one kill and then back off. And we see Treant's Lightning Shield once again. But this isn't really going to result in any kills. It just damages the Militia. Mr. Winner also nicely putting most of the damaged ones into the gold mine. So that they are harder to pick off. And doing what he does best, power creeping. We see Archmage once again already nearing that level 4 very quickly. That level 2 aura will be huge for the MK later, which we will almost certainly see. It is once again the MK. And Bolt Dakota once again, Demon Hunter. One lore should be teching next, I assume. Might even be worth canceling this for the tech. You really want this, but you also really want your tech as soon as possible. It's probably better just to hold on to this. It's, I mean, it's literally teching like five seconds later, right? It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, but yeah, level three keeper on the hunt. But Mr. Winner, with that defend, able to easily take the center camp. A lot of items here. I wonder if he will sell any. He did sell something. I didn't see which item it was. Wand of Illusion in the shop, but we already know Mr. Winner does not like those apparently. So maybe Bolt Dakota will end up being able to buy it. Sobe Mask. Mm, not the worst. Definitely gets some value with the Keeper, but once those priests start coming out and the Keeper has a lot less value. Oh no. Uh, this is not going to get fast in time. He needs to be careful with his keeper. Now he's gonna lose the TP too. Okay, he has staff of tally staff instantly. Oh, he's actually going for the actual TP. I, I wonder if he could have gone for Invuln, killed the two, like entangled that and killed the other two footmen, and then that's eh, probably not worth. These footmen are probably just going to slowly die anyways to creeps, the poison creeps. So yeah. But yeah, Mr. Winner did invest a Roar Scroll there, so it wasn't for free to do all that damage. And Bolt Dakota, once again, coming back in. Heal Scroll used right away. Wants to save those footies. Get them healed up with the Priests later. And with level 2 Aura already unlocked, these Priests are going to have a lot of mana to use. Should see Adept on the way next. Bolt coming out. Does have Staff of Telly, however, we know Mr. Winner did go for Bash last time. I assume to see Bash again. So he does need to be careful with that. DH, on the other hand, not been creeping very much. He could have been solo creeping this at least. Or maybe the gold mine even too. But 
has mostly been running around, maybe too distracted with his keeper right now. And yeah, this time Mr. Winner has a lot better unit count. Not able to pick off these footmen in the early game makes it a lot harder for the keeper to come in and deal damage because once that bolt focus comes in, you see those, those footmen surround. Oh right, the demon hunter died. That's why it was so late to start creeping. I forgot the DH died. And now we see the dreaded Mr. Winner push. 1-0 rifles. Second damage upgrade on the way, but not close to finishing. Uh, Adept training just finished, and he does have two priests, but one was still entangled in the back. Yeah, two priests, a bunch of rifles. Master training just now finished, but honestly, you might need to still buy time. You would really like one more bear out. However, it is not like that he's going to get time. Looking to march right in. Needs to morph these bears and possibly rejuve right away. Okay, going for the priest. Should be able to dispel. Does dispel, but the priest may still go down. Nicely done. One bear, however, also getting low. Gets a rejuve just in time. Other bear gets morphed. Another bear coming in. Maybe should have used that rejuve first, but otherwise... Starting to get a healthy count of bears, but these, these rifles... Look how quickly they just shoot these bears down. It's hunting season, and bear is on the menu. Oh my, and there's mana items still on the DH. Not ideal as well. Militia, the police have arrived. Towers are going to be coming up. Maybe an arcane vault. Mountain King not getting burned much yet. DH not being able to reach it. Not being able to transfer or sell these items yet either. MK still with an Ankh as well. Some tanky items, and this Archmage Aura doing wonders. Bear going to get focused right away, nicely staffed out, but look how quick these die. There's only two bears left, the other two hiding in the back. More rejuves though, but Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter gets focused, falls quickly. Three more bears fighting, one more bear drops to the bolt. And one more bear neck getting focused. Uh, Mr. Winner doing a good job taking out the bears that actually have mana on them, leaving the low mana bear fighting. There is a couple rejuves to use in the back. However, falling behind against rifles is just not the type of army you can come back from. And it'll be very tough to see Bolt Dakota come back from this. Level 5 Archmage is unlocked. And these level 3 elementals, you're just not going to be able to deal with those either. Arcane Tower, huge annoyance for bears with that feedback damage. Priests, four of them with Adept, has at least one dispel available, almost a second one because of this level 2 aura. And the MK, plenty of bolts still to use, not being able to get these bears rejuved. Bolt Dakota will likely have to tap out here in a second does indeed tap out just at that moment. We have a 1-1 one, one going to game three. And we will once again check if booster is working. It is actually working. Nice. We might have booster this game. However, hopefully I'm not lagging them because it's looking really spiky. It hasn't said reconnected to server yet though. Is this bottom left is both the Kodo. Let me try disabling booster and seeing if that takes away the leg. It does not. It's just the server is bad for me, I guess. Mm. But it's not legging them as far as I know, because I don't see any reconnected. So we'll stay for now, but honestly, I might have to leave this game if it starts, you know, if it continues to spike like this and actually makes me like them. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the server, the EU East or whatever, being so far away. So not ideal conditions for me, but it looks like the conditions should be good for them. 
we have Bolt Dakota once again going for Keeper. And Mr. Winner once again going for Archmage. Same build. Same build. Just different map. Moonwall coming out. Screws up the pole a bit though. I don't think you generally want to uproot your Ancient War that quickly, but I guess it's working out. He did it he got to eat the tree faster, so it's I mean it's probably fine. Looks like it pulled decently enough. The range units are close enough to the tree. I would like to see him get this archer ensnared once again so the treants doesn't get ensnared. But apparently the trapper didn't want to throw up an ensnare anyway, so I guess it's fine. Maybe the pull worked out to prevent the trapper. Not sure. Circlet for our human player. Oh yeah, since booster wasn't actually liking me, it's just the server. I guess we can run booster, right? And just hope it doesn't put me over the top in lagging. So we should be able to have booster this game. See if it loads. Hopefully it doesn't like me. As you can see, this host is spiky for me. However, so far I have not been lagging them as far as I know. Looks like same builds as always, tier 2 on the way for both, going for around 5 footmen, and then we'll likely set up a blacksmith here in a second, and another farm, maybe even a 6th footman, we'll see. It looks like he goes for around 5, so that he can get some good creeping done. And we do see a very nice detonate there, that is going to be huge. There is no more wisps in the area, which would have been really nice if Boltakoto had a second wisp here, like here. Because he could have bought a staff right now and gone over to creep jack this, and that would have been insane. Just getting getting all the footmen right now before the Archmage even reaches three. We will not see that, however, but some uh, Wand of Illusion will be scouting out. He does have at least two entangles available. And he is level 3 against level 2. One footman down. We will see him go in for another footman here. Another footman down. Uh, I do believe it was denied, but you know the keeper's already 3, so these denies, very minimal effect at this point. Getting keeper 3 is really the crucial thing. Beyond that kind of extra Archmage, still not three himself. Those elemental detonates were huge, dude. Like, I can't emphasize it enough. Getting those water Ellie detonates changes this whole game. Because now the elf has actually outleveled the human somehow. That was like 80 XP or whatever going to the elf, right? He would have had to take out the crabs as well instead. Which probably would have involved summoning another set of treants. Or using a, a, a illusion to tank. Let's see. Tier 2 about finished. Getting the Ancient of Wonders early as well. Hunter's Hall. Maybe a couple seconds late, but shouldn't be a big deal. Archers spotting out the human. He has reached level 3 finally on the Archmage. But Keeper, he's got his mana back. He has a Staff of Telly that brought him back in. Or brought him to his wells quickly. And we'll be able to get the other footmen as well. Maybe even picking out this water Ellie. I am still spiking on this server though, which sucks. Denied. Very nicely done. A lot of these footmen have actually been denied. So the keeper... I think the keeper's only got like one footman kill. Even though like five footmen and a water Ellie died. So good denies by Mr. Winner. But at the same time, those were a lot of losses. He does have rifles and MK on the way. But his creeping is going to be stunted by not having those extra footmen to help along. Lores on the way, tier 3 on the way, and I believe it is Demon Hunter once again. Ultra Vision picked up a bit quicker this time. But yeah, this, this bolt focus hurts, but not as much as it could if there was footmen to potentially surround or deal da extra damage. Might be able to staff out here? No, probably has to TP, yeah. So, 
Still worked out good enough for Mr. Winner. He got rid of the keeper. We'll be able to creep now. Uh, with a priest and a few rifles, water alley here. Creeping shouldn't be too difficult. Might want to pull the Archmage back. Does so now. The Boltakoto also already getting his split creeping done. Demon Hunter going to get this rock golem kill. Oh my god, he denied it! Oh, I think he misclicked. I saw him microing the Ancient of War, I believe, but he he clicked the golem rather than the troll or the mud golem. And a big XP loss. Oof. Invuln, however, is a decent item. Keeper, being a bit aggressive here, does have a staff, but there is Bolt, there is Bash with the MK reaching level 2. Needs to be very careful. And scroll of the beast once again. Mm. And a damage upgrade on the way for Mr. Winner. And scroll of the beast rifles. We might see that 50 food rifle push again. With scroll can be very deadly if there is not wisp detos right away. Uh, looks like Boltakoto hasn't overcommitted on archers though, which I think is good here. You want as many bears as you can in your 50 food army. And his tech is almost done, which is also huge. Looking to get some more entangles off. There is no adept training yet, nor is there even mana for it for the dispel. So he might actually be able to get a rifle or two here, but Scroll of the Beast used. We'll be able to secure this camp. Saves the rifle with a dispel that just finished on adept training. Oh, will he secure the camp? Boltakoto might be able to pick some of these off. This camp's very difficult because there is inner fire, there is bloodlust. One archer falls, not a huge deal. But the rifle going down, can he get the other rifle as well? Priest heal, working overtime here. Ogre goes to Mr. Winner, getting ever close to that level 3 MK. But Bolt coming out, Invuln having to be used on the Keeper. Not going to be able to save that for the DH later. And DH now getting focused. There is one more Rejuve. No Dispel. One Dispel, but too far away. Overall pretty good from Bolt Dakota there. Uh, got a little close. A little close to just uh, throwing and losing his Keeper. But, you know, manages to get out. Get those Rejuvenations off. And he forced the Roar Scroll, which was also huge. Mr. Winner not wanting to uh, get overwhelmed in the middle, popped the Roar Scroll to have an advantage. And ended up still losing a rifle there. So, yeah, Medallion of Courage now on the MK. A huge item. Uh, sometimes these stat items are a little underrated, but they can be insanely powerful. 5 strength and 5 int on your, your tanky MK that relies a lot on mana is pretty good. You mostly just don't want to see the agi int one. The hood of whatever. Hood of courage or whatever it is. That, that one's kind of bad. <laughs> Once again, a pendant. We will see if he transfers it over to the keeper this time. Now that he actually has his heroes together. Orbovena picked up. Oh, might be able to catch a rifle here. Should have a dispel ready. Will he get it in time? A lot of Orb of Venom damage in, and there's five bears already. We'll have a Reju popped off right away. Has another bear that can morph out at some point, but Mr. Winner doing what he does best. Focusing the high mana bear. Takes it out before a staff can come in. There actually is no staff even available. And these bears, one by one, getting focused down quickly. Mr. Winner has his 2-0 rifle timing. These bears just not holding up. Imagine making normal damage units against medium armor units. XD. Uh, yeah, th this sort of timing from the human is very scary. Once they have level 3 MK, the 2-0 rifles, it's so hard to uh, get enough bears to actually fight this straight up. Doing what he can, poking away with that Orb of Venom. But DH, not able to get level 3 yet, really needs to pick off a Peasant or an Elemental or something. Get that level 3 DH as soon as possible. 
Missed the anti-magic potion before the bolt, but Deto is coming in. We'll get level 3 DH unlocked, but the bear's in an awkward spot. This base build not doing good for Bolt Dakota. You really don't want this block off here when you have bears. DH going in with the anti-magic potion. Going to get one burn. Nicely done. Heal coming out. And now is it's starting to turn. Mr. Winner is fizzling out a bit. Not much mana left. Archmage dropping low. Might have to TP. Does have to TP. Tower push has failed. Bolt Dakota holds on with that level 3 pickup on the DH. And those Dettos. Does still have five Wisps here, so should be able to keep up with wood for the most part. Didn't have to overcommit on the Detonates. And now we should see a second Orb of Venom as well, maybe even a second Staff. And this is where Elf can start to really turn it. Holding that push was huge. Let's see what Mr. Winner can do to continue to fight. He's going for the second armor upgrade now. Going to have two two rifles. Archmage 4.5 soon. MK should be at level 4 from this. And slow. Slow is huge. Getting a couple sorceress for these bears. And really turn the tide. We do not have staff or TP here. So you need to be a little careful as the elf, but there is five bears. There is one orb only. Wasn't able to buy a second one yet. One rifle dying immediately, second one getting focused, but this bear also getting focused, going to die. No staff for it. Roar coming out. And Mr. Winner, some good positioning here at the fountain. Very hard for bears to go along these sides. They're pretty narrow. And a little bit over commitment there from our night elf. Not having a staff or a second orb. Just not allowing him to fight here. Mr. Winner calls the police. Has two sorceress available as well. Slow going to be coming in. Server still lagging for me, spiking quite a bit, but like looks like it's not lagging them, so that's good. More bears on the way, but they're just replacing the ones that were lost. He's not actually reaching the critical mass of bears. No upgrades on the bears either. Moonwalls do have Wellspring, but they're already fairly empty. And this is just not... I don't think this is enough bears. The MK mana is low though, there are some detonates. But with some proper kiting, we might still see the human come out ahead here. Let's see what can happen. The, man the Mountain King being out of mana though, it does let the elf do some, some good work here. But there is still no second Orb of Venom. Rejuve coming out. Gets dispelled. Mr. Winner gonna focus down the high mana bear before it can heal up again. And more water Ellie's coming out with no more wisps to really help against this. And the elf army getting overwhelmed. Mr. Winner, I think, has done it. Rifle push. 2-2 two, two rifles. Too strong. 0-0 zero, zero bears. 2-2 two, two rifles. Oh no. But yeah, this is... Uh, this is rough. It's hard to uh, combat this if you don't get enough advantage early. I thought Bolt Dakota was in a good enough spot, but the one, the one push really... Uh, Picked off just enough for Mr. Winner, and he is able to push that through to a win here. Unless uh, something crazy happens. I mean, we do still have Orb of Venom. Elf heroes are alive. But an Arcane Tower up in the base of the Night Elf. MK, level 5. Huge bolts coming out. Yeah, there's just no combating this. Pumba has struck once again. Bolt Dakota will be tapping out. And a 2-1 victory for Mr. Winner. Nice comeback from him. Um, I think this third game was very close and could have gone both ways. The previous two were much more in favor of, of each individual player. But uh, this third one was very close. But a couple moments where... A, um, too many bears got picked off. Maybe needed that second orb. Maybe needed to invest in some staffs. Uh, especially when pushing in towards that fountain. Being able to staff out would have helped a lot. And in the end, Mr. Winner with his 2-2 two -two rifles. 
gunning down the 